It's a blessing to be with you on this Wednesday, the 3rd of January. I keep saying that, but these early days, it's uh, amazing to realize we're into 2024. I trust you have a good start. Remember the key to having a great year is not a resolution, though you ought to make decisions. It is the key decision to be fully surrendered to God and desirous of living in personal revival on a regular basis. If we live in personal revival, we will know the will of God. We will have victory. But I want to encourage you today from the very last part of the book of Revelation. Just on December 31, if you were in a Bible reading schedule of some kind, you probably read chapter 22 and uh, finished out the year. And I do encourage you, by the way, <clears throat> to go through the Bible every year and Certainly, you can study certain parts, but it is very important to get every year a, a view of the entire Word of God. <clears throat> go to places you would not normally go to, and you will learn something every time. Your Bible study will be deeply enriched if you do that. But where I'd like to go is Revelation chapter 22, <clears throat> and right at the end, we have the statement from the Lord Jesus in verse 20, he which testifieth these things saith, surely I come quickly. Amen. And with that statement from the Lord, the Apostle John says, even so come, Lord Jesus. Well, the Lord Jesus said, I'm coming quickly. Now you say, well, it's been 2,000 years. Well, for the Lord, a 1,000 years are as a day. And really, when you think of eternity, it's been a, it's a very short time. The fact is, Jesus is coming. And for us on this latter end of it all, it is going to be quick. It's coming sooner than we know. And his whole desire is to come and to take his bride to be with him and to institute all that he wants to accomplish throughout uh, eternity. But... Even as you look at the book of Revelation and see what happens in the tribulation, you see God's heart to reach the masses and the population. Even during the judgment, you have many, many people coming to Christ. And in this church age, before the Holy Spirit is taken out as we are taken out, he, of course, will continue to work in a different way. Um, we need to realize that if indeed he is coming quickly in regard to our perspective, Think about what needs to be done. Folks, we are only scratching the surface of what ought to be done with the power of God that is our, at our disposal. And so keep in mind as you hear reports of things and as you definitely see the foundation being laid, the scenario being written for all of the events that we find in the book of uh, Revelation, as you see all of that, be encouraged that he's coming quickly. He is going to finish out what he said he's going to do. But we need to have his heart to reach the world before he comes. When you think of the fact that he could come in our lifetime, he could come this year, it's very possible that half of the people that you know will be killed in the tribulation. Maybe even more in, in different areas. Uh, it's a sobering, sobering reality. And so let's encourage ourselves with his definite and probably soon return. But let's also be challenged by the fact that he has a great job for us to do. And may God enable us to have that heart to see the harvest that he wants accomplished.